welcome to Business Live. I'm Mark Crossgrey in BL tonight. First up, we got General Insurance Company, Iron Rock Insurance Company Limited, trading in their shares. On the buy side here, Connected Party buying up a total of 30,000 shares, November 25th, 2021. Good to see some potential confidence here coming in for Iron Rock. Now, Epley Caribbean Property Fund Limited, a share buyback advisor here. Epley Caribbean Property continues to repurchase shares in the marketplace between November 24th to 29th, 2021. Under the company's value fund share buyback program, the company purchased just over 1,200 shares. The release goes on to say the source of funding was cash on the company's balance sheet and shares were repurchased on the open market via their respective broker. NCB Capital Markets getting into play here as well. Now, Palace Amusement Company, we spoke about them recently. The revenue recovering here for the first quarter, but further cash burn here. No, this really underscores the message of their late audited financial statements, where we saw the whole subsequent event there. We still haven't seen that disclosure to the stock exchange overall, but there was a note there in the audited financial statements regarding the Jamaican $653 million loan attained from VM Investments. Now, the question was raised, you know, when was this going to come into the balance sheet? Well, we're not seeing it here in the first quarter so clearly it must be coming up for the second quarter let's say October November uh, December but somewhere in that period so policy movement should be okay now for the first quarter what we're talking about here that's the September 30th 2021 uh, period ended revenue actually recovered to Jamaican 80 million and change from 29 million and change from 2020 so that drive in clearly working and some other factors there now the net loss still hit them 79 million a little bit better than 94 4 million and change year over year. So a lot of cash burn is still happening. The actual cash on the balance sheet for Palace Amusement ended at 40 million. Uh, so not, not a great figure, not a lot of cash there, but we come back to the subsequent event, 653 million to come in in that second quarter to come. That's what we're reading, that's what we're seeing from VM Investments. Now the net current liabilities deficit actually increased by about 30 million or so to 356 million. Now JP Group here continuing to build their story, Jamaica Producers Group, a capital distribution disclosure. Interim capital distribution, 25 cents per share here. The payment date in January, January 20th, 2022. JP continuing to go from strength to strength. Coles, the department store, being pressured to sell their online business. That's that e-commerce business that everybody wants to get into. In this case, activist uh, capital or activist fund here in the hedge fund world uh, called Engine Capital, which is reported or claims to own about 1% in Coles, wants to get into the business. So they're really pressuring the board of directors, the shareholders of Coles to either separate or sell the whole e-commerce online business here. Uh, we've seen a couple of precedents in the marketplace in doing this. Now, Coles market cap, what's driving all this? It's approximately 7.3 billion US dollars. The assumption also is that Coles online sales alone are 6.2 billion US dollars. I'm Mark Crossgrey. This is Business Life.